somewhere. Mm -hmm. Then he told me, now my friend, I am going to crush you. Mm -hmm. What? I am going to crush you. If you continue supporting William Buto, I'm going to finish so you. So when you wait, petition. Right. So when he started on the phone, I am going to crush you, it felt it felt like, you know, these are president men. Yes. And you see, at the time, I had uh, declined my... I, I was in a position instead of where I qualified there with a colleague of mine called Emmanuel Talam. Yes. These guys come in, they say, we are DCI, and my guy, you're under arrest. I don't understand why DCI deploys 40 policemen to arrest a guy who for Subaru's, and they make a scene rushing all over, then they take me to DCI headquarters. So they give me three charges. One, I forged a letter by a cabinet secretary. Second one, I have distributed the letter. And the third one, which is the most interesting, reprogramming a phone. Now, so I, I, I was really interested to know what is reprogramming a phone. Mm -hmm. So in the details, they say I deleted. Mm -hmm. So after the arrest and the, the courts were in, he... He then now, to around 2021 December, I'm preparing to go for Christmas. Mom calls me, they wanted some money at home to prepare for Christmas. So I leave the house. First I go into Akinyozi. I wanted, my intention was to send her some money to do some shopping. Mm -hmm. So I go into Akinyozi. As I'm leaving the Akinyozi, these three guys approach me and tell me they're policemen. So So it didn't matter. So I said, okay, so are you taking me? But then I noticed in their demeanor, the Igari, Namweke, Facebook and Twitter because mm. I knew it would spread out very fast. Right. So when I get into the car, they blindfold me, they chain my hands and my legs, then they start beating me. They had hammers, they had these uh, mm. nails, they start beating me. Those guys can actually, uh, on working on someone and beating someone, those guys know their job. Mm. They beat me, Banambaka. So they strip me naked, then they start now making incisions with an attempt to remove this alleged satellite. satellite. At this time, I knew I was going to die. I mean, even the conversation in that car were more like, when will you stop supporting William Ruto? Mm -hmm. You must support, you must tell us you're going to stop supporting William Ruto, and you must go on Facebook. Then they realize I have my phones. Mm -hmm. So they try to fungua the phones, they can't. So they tell me, fungua, tell them you have to undo my blindfold, because I use, yes, I yeah, yeah, yeah. So that I, uh, I, of course now, they don't want to un unfold me because I'll see them. So when they do, they throw out the phones. Mm -hmm. So they continued. It's around the three ish into the night. I can see we're in traffic because I can hear bragging. I can hear these guys saying that traffic in the mob sana, but I don't know where I am. So they at one point they stopped somewhere and now they bring another, they tell me they're handing over me to another team. So I'm taken by these other guys, they take me to a higher car because I can feel this over lower car. Now I'm this one to get in, I can see I'm climbing somewhere. They beat me seriously. At one point I pass out. So the next time I wake up, I am in this car squeezed by three people. Then there are some guys, and I can hear the radio saying, "That guy, you must take him out. You must throw him. You must get, get him out of that car, and you guys escape. It is it, it, out here. It's too hot. You must get him out." And uh, so one guy says, "We can't let him out in the condition he is. Mm -hmm. We need to kill him." I've done my bit. Life goes on. But I was clear to them that even if you killed Dennis Itumbi, there will be many other Dennis Itumbis, and I will not die a coward, having abandoned my cause and my belief, because I believe that principles are firm, and visions are best when, you know, Paul wrote somewhere, which I knew was Kasarani later, I, I, I crawl and walk a mixture of it towards a roundabout, where one of the guys, remember I'm completely naked, right. where one of the guys actually recognizes me, stops and says, Dennis, I've seen me, I've seen these things on Twitter, hey man, what can I do? But he's also very afraid that you are being followed by some unknown guys. Why well, tell him where we go? And now I see people making a lot of fun because the first thing I told that guy, let me attack a Fanta. Because I was I, I needed some energy. Mm. So this was a very good time, a Koha. He took me to his uh, place. He got me a, a a shawl and I think a bed cover or something. Then he bought me a Fanta, then he asked me which hospital do I take him to. I told him I can't choose a hospital, take me to the nearest one. So he took me to Neema Hospital, which is, I came to learn later, is next to Kasarani Stadium. Mm -hmm. Then from there I transferred to Nairobi West Hospital, where I stayed for a few months, and I spent